Welcome to another edition of The Proving Ground, where we try to make training as real as possible. In this episode, we'll talk about safety at the campground, and what would you do if somebody spoiled your family vacation? My name is Scott. I'm a utility operator, and I've been carrying for three to four years. I began carrying when my wife's daughter, Chris, um, got a job with the USCCA. My name is Carolyn. Um, I am retired. I've been carrying for about two, two and a half, three years now. I didn't really want anything to do with guns. I was afraid of them, mainly because I didn't know them. My husband um, become interested in it. He went out and bought his first gun and then um, we went out to the range and shot. And then I became more intrigued and kind of followed up, went and tested several guns at a range and found one that I liked. And the fear factor of owning a gun once you handled it, learned it, knew how it works, kind of went out the door. And I kind of believe that every woman, every woman should learn how to use one. We're coming into this scenario because we get a lot of questions at the USCCA about interstate travel and about where people can and cannot carry their guns and what they can do with it. And one of those elements is there's a large RV community out there and a lot of people just travel anyway. So we started thinking about areas where you could go where you're going to have to defend yourself, where help is not immediately available. And a campground site, traveling in an RV, opens us up for lots of different questions, lots of different things that we have to do correctly, one, in order to stay legal. We have to make sure that we know all the laws when we're crossing state lines and going into public or private campgrounds. And two, help is not immediately available when you're in a campsite. You're going to have to learn to do this stuff yourself. And as we started looking into it, we started seeing um, just a great number of reports of crime in campsites. And we started asking ourselves, what is this? What are we gonna be able to teach people to do when they're at a campsite and they may need some help? And again, help is not forthcoming. They're gonna to have to help themselves. Well, my name's Pete Boskus. Uh, I'm a retired Wapaka County Sheriff's Deputy. Uh, I worked for the Sheriff's Department for 20 years full time. I had three years of part time before that. I first met Pete Bosquez probably 12 years ago, maybe a little bit more, um, when he was working on the Sheriff's Department and I was working with the Sheriff's Department part-time. Pete was uh, not only a firearms trainer, but was involved in the scenario-based training that we were doing with the Sheriff's Department. And uh, um, I uh, got to know him through our work together in the Sheriff's Department, through some of the training that we were doing that way. And he was always very adamant that the role players guide the scenario. It's something that we talk about all the time when we're doing scenario-based training, is that the role players are trainers as well and try to move the situation into a direction to get the trainees to do something that we're either, we either want them to do or we don't want them to do. We wanna get them in that position to see if they make a mistake. Okay, Scott, Carolyn, we're ready for the first scenario. We've got you equipped with the stress vest, which means if you get shot, if something happens and you get shot, it's going to hurt. So avoid getting shot, all right? Yep. So a couple of directions for you. You're gonna be starting here on the bench. Scott, I'd like you to go inside the camper when we call action. You're gonna get some spices for the grill, take them out, set them on the cooler. Then ask Carolyn if she wants a drink. Of course you do, you're camping. Go back in, get her a drink, bring it out to her. During that time, whatever happens, happens. You guys have to deal with it. Got any questions for me? Well, I think we're good. All think right, good. let's do this. Wow, kind of glad we decided to come. Yeah, it the weather. Be a really nice day. Yeah, it did. The sun is nice and warm. Where's uh, where's our bad guys coming in from? Um, so over on our left. Bench. Okay. I would cue that comment. Can you get a close up around the bench? All right. So, still not seeing a bad guy. Would you like something to drink? Um, yeah. yeah. Could you grab me a can of Coke? Okay. okay. Yeah, they block they seem to be following the initial. Right. Okay, here comes Carol. Hi. Good, good, good. Okay, good. It is. Yeah. I think this is a good choice to have. We are. Else Where are you guys? Are you camping here down the road yep. or Just for close by? Yes. Thank you. All right. 
Where's the bad guy? No, I'm like, cue him. I'm gonna cue the bad guy. Hey! What <laughs> you guys doing? So enjoying the campfire? Woo! Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. Where are you guys from? Oh, just over there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're just Looks like Scott's moving. So, uh, yeah, she's crazy. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah, she's <laughs> she's kind of reaching for her pepper spray. Yeah. By, uh, Milwaukee area. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was there once. Yeah, we once. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was out by there once. Hey, huh? <laughs> 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 that's right. Nice. So, what do you guys she do? Hasn't, uh, she hasn't done. What do you guys do? For today. Okay, now she's really relaxing. Yeah. She maybe maybe thinks it's just normal. Yeah. No kids, no kids yet or anything? <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about over there for that shoot. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you cooking something? Yeah, we're making some hamburgers for lunch. Oh, I would love a hamburger. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. I only put a couple on. I didn't oh, bring. Well, there's only four of us. Yeah. We only got two. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's just the two of us, so we don't bring okay, a lot of food. Sure nope. Yeah. There's, no. Yep, there's no. nothing in the camera. Help cook, whatever. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. We only got the two along, and yeah, because it's just the two of us. We don't have kids anymore. Yeah. Carolyn kind of controlling distance. Yeah. She's got the fire between him. That's okay. I like the look of that. But uh, he's, he's too relaxed. His hands in his pocket. If, yeah. if he were to jump up right now, even if it was a physical fight, just yeah. just yeah. hands, he's at a disadvantage. Yeah, already. I'm tired of carrying it in and out of the house every ah. time you get back. I know those two burgers. They can get super heavy. <laughs> Yeah, we got a little wet smoke in there. Right, that's all right. Ah. So. But if it's okay, I'm gonna go check on those burgers. No. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. good. We're so good. I didn't catch your name. Uh, Dale. Dale and Kayla. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you, Dale and Kayla. It's just Dale. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I think we should so. maybe look in the campfire. Um. Nah, it's a mess. We don't. Yeah. We don't like people oh, going in there. I know. I mean, no. it'd, it'd be really oh, cool we're... to see. We're fine. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe a little later once we get straightened up and more settled. And, uh, well, I mean, there's a couple things that we could probably do. We could have a burger. So we want a couple dollars. I think the way it is starting to ratchet yeah. it up now. Yeah. Here we go. He just wants a few dollars. I don't want to stay with him. Yeah. Stay with him. Weird. So. It's ramping up. Over here, guys. No, he's got the knife out, and Scott isn't even moving yet. No, okay, he's, he's going inside. Yeah, stay with now, the guy going inside. Yeah. No. Why, why isn't the pepper spray out? Yeah. yeah. Why is yeah. Ready if he's when already he out. out the door? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Um. Um. Why don't you he's guys leaving uh, the area? So oh, look, he's got the gun behind his back. Trying to stay with him. So like he's already got the knife out. out. So What's the reason for having the knife? Why is? Yeah. Why isn't he? If he wants him to leave, why yeah, is he presenting the, right away? Present the weapon we're and not, put it on target because we got what 15 feet between them. He's going to get caught too close even if he gets a shot off. Yeah. Well, those burgers then. So you got, those are for us. You got no food. You have two burgers, two sodas, no dollars, and this sun seeker. Well, pick it up. Get your gun out and start, start, start making some commands. Come to me, man. You want the burgers? Take the burgers. I would love the burgers. Take them. Take the sodas. Go ahead. All right. And how about those dollars? In here, right? How about what? The dollars. Dollars? Yeah. <clears throat> there ain't no dollars in there. Well, then I'm gonna go check on that, okay? No, you're not. Why? Oh, hey, big man, what are you doing there? <laughs> That's right. You wanna take out a gun over a couple dollars? Ah, uh, you want What gun does he off? have? I don't know. I don't know if he brought out his gun, which has a round in the chamber, because she doesn't night? keep a round in the chamber for her gun. No, you just said you were so wanting dollars do... and food and yeah. So you come to rob us. Well, I'm just looking for a couple dollars and some food. But yeah. still, at this point, the guy's got a knife out at your campsite. Well, this is not going good. Going and he gave him the door to the camp. Yeah, and <laughs> so <laughs> and they could just jump in and drive their camper away. Yeah. Why? That's really nice. I don't want you in there. Hey, guess what? They do got some more soda. I just set that one in there. That's the one I had. Oh, do you mind if I have it? No, I. You can have that one over there. I'll get it for you. Okay. Back off. Can you back off with the knife? 
No, we don't want them in there to get the soda. Can you back off? I'll get the soda for you. Yes? I mean, you're going to let your woman talk to you like that? <laughs> he said he's going to go get the soda. Can you back off over there? <laughs> yeah, I'll just sit over here. Are you going to put the gun away? I'll, yeah, I'll go in there and put it away. Miss. I'll go inside and put it away if you back <laughs> off over there. We just, we just need two bucks. So just can you back off over there? I'll go get it. So are there, you're I will. Can you back are you off? I don't want to money? get close to that knife. No, are you going to go get the f***ing money? Yeah, I will. Just back off over Let's there. Let's go then! I mean, I'm, gonna... I'm getting sick of this! I would listen to her, man. It's in there? No, okay. you're not going in there. No, we came to enjoy. All right, should we? Should we call this? Then we're, we're, we're at well, a standoff. Let's, let's see if he actually yeah. steps yeah. into the. If he lets him in. Yeah, yeah, we can. I can go in the camper. Yeah. Okay? All right, I'll back let you, off. I'll let you back go with off. her. You go get the money. I'm back too close to her. Yeah, way too close to her. There. Yeah. there. You go get the money. She, oh, she's going to get her. She's hers. going to get her gun now. Okay. Let's see, let's <laughs> see if yeah. she presents. It worked, but she, she yeah. got a little bit too close. So, yeah. So. This is uh, another situation where we could not have imagined right, what yeah. was going to happen. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm I'm really wanting to be have this guy at gunpoint right yeah. now. That's what I want to do. What is she? Is she going to yeah. come out? So she's still hiding her gun. She has no. She got pepper spray nope, in her she's hand. She's got the pepper spray in her hand, and she has her gun behind her back. Yeah. So and she gave up the camper again. Yeah. Longest one yet. Okay, everybody, come on, gather in here. We got a lot to talk about. That looked really good, but White, come on in. Kayla, over here. Scott, Carolyn, how did you feel about that? That was interesting. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Interesting. Wyatt, do you think you ever could have got him with your knife if you really would have wanted to? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, with one lunge. Yeah. Totally. A couple of things we want to talk about is controlling distance. That worked really, really well. Um, you went inside to get a gun. Mm -hmm. Which which gun did you grab? I grabbed her gun. Okay. Do you remember that she carries without a round in the chamber? I do now. <laughs> okay. And did... I was going to check it when I was walking out, but I thought, nope, there's one in there. Okay. Well, you, you, you got to be sure for yep. that because no round in the chamber. If he lunges at you, yep. you're you know you get a click I'm instead done. of a bang. That's the loudest sound in the world. That click. So. Um, couple of things we're going to talk about. We'll bring Pete Vasquez to you and, and have him give you some tips. We want control of distance, which you guys did pretty good. But when somebody's got a knife out, somebody's got a weapon, I want that gun out in front of you and barking commands and telling him what to do. There's no time for a negotiation in something like that. You're telling him what to do because he can cover that ground with that knife. And even if you shoot him, you're getting cut. You had some pepper spray. Where was that? In my hand. Okay. When, when were you planning to use your pepper spray, Carolyn? Um, but once I got... <laughs> Sometime, sooner or later. Uh, well, long as she didn't make a move, okay. I wasn't going to use it on her unless she made a move. Okay, so... And I would have sprayed her. Yep. But then when I did get behind Scott, I figured if he started lunging, yeah. but then I had two of them to worry about. So, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, it's a very confusing situation, isn't it? Yeah, it and, is. It was. And, and in the end, you gave them the door to the RV. They could have just drove away. Well, I'm not going to shoot and kill somebody for material things so very good they're not going is... to get far in that when the police are after <laughs> yeah them, so. yep and and like we always say this is self-defense yep. this is not stuff defense at at any point did you feel like you were in danger like your e life yes was i did and i know i made some mistakes and like not grabbing both guns when i went in there that's why i did not want to let them back in because mm -hmm. i knew the other gun was in there i wanted her to get in and there and I get it i didn't catch on to what he, i just panicked and wanted to get behind yeah. him because he and, had the gun. And it's interesting you say that you just panicked. Even though you knew this was a scenario, right. how real was it for both of you? It Very real. real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, we'll, we'll bring Pete out. We'll uh, let Pete talk to you. We're going to do some stuff inside for training as well. And we'll get you all trained up and then put you in another scenario. Okay. okay. Sounds great. We hope you enjoyed this free training video. Scroll down now to leave your questions and comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And remember to sign up for our live training broadcast, where of course we'll be giving away some free guns.